All right, I get asked this a lot, so I thought, perfect time to make a quick video. How do I affect the energy around a situation? Now, um, for those of you that are like, who is this lady? Super quick, so my name is Amy, and uh, I am a trauma survivor, and I also am a uh, healing practitioner, I've developed a course called ELV, Elevate Life Vibration, based off of honestly needing to survive. So I lost my husband to suicide, and then three short years later, I lost my only daughter. So I basically hit my knees, and this is my purpose, my passion, my helping you to survive life. Because, well, quite frankly, I've become a master pro at it. So let's talk about um, influencing energy around situations. So we can go on for hours talking about energy, but you just need to know that everything is energy and energy has no limits. So we can basically using the law of universal energy, we can somewhat manipulate things, um, but we always do it with intention to be positive. So I'm going to tell you how you can do this with situations. Um, for those of you that are, you know, part of my program, you know, we don't ever use our ability to manipulate energies in a way that is not positive. Okay. I don't go down that rabbit hole. Everything for us is beautiful, light, positive. Okay. We also don't, um, we also don't tap into other people's energies without their permission. So that's usually the question that comes to me is, hey, um, I have a family member who I'm having issues with. I have a child who I'm having issues with. I have a coworker who I'm having issues with since I can't or shouldn't manipulate someone else's energy. Amy, how can I fix this? Because I'm having all kinds of issues and they're not receptive or not responsive. Super, super easy, actually. So we're going to influence the energy around the situation. Same with um, how you can influence energy in your own house. But we can influence energy around the situation. So how are we going to do this? I'm going to show you. Okay. So first of all, you have to be grounded. You have to be in a spot where you can channel. You can receive um, impression, intuition, whatever that is for you. I'm a total open healer. So if your intention is coming from God, if it's coming from higher divine source energy, if it's coming from whatever that is for you, okay, you're going to bring that in. If you're like, I don't know how to do that. Okay, great. I have another video on how to do that as well. So we're going to center. Now I do this with full intention that not only am I aligning my spiritual, my energy part of my body, but I want to incorporate my cognitive part. That's why my system is, is way different than anyone else's because I focus on both the cognitive physical and the energy spiritual. So you have this cool thing running through your body called the vagus nerve and you want to align it because it is basically a loop sending information from your little cranium around your body to all your organs. It also is connected to all your chakras and meridians and blah, 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 and it comes all back, okay? So we're centering, we're grounding. If you don't do meditation and you're like, I'm not really familiar with this, it's okay. All I want you to do is breathe in through your nose and then think of your body as melting. That's the easiest way for me to get into this state where I need to be grounded. So I'm thinking about melting myself. You can roll your shoulders into what's called a C-spine. It's what people use in Pilates and it's very relaxing and very um, grounding. And I like to think about, okay, using your imagination. Now people are like, what? Use your imagination. Yeah. Well, guess what? Your inner child was really damaged when you were young. So people have taught you that using your imagination is not okay, that that's what six-year-olds do. When in reality, that is absolutely not true. So Using your imagination, I'm actually going to visualize light coming in for myself. I like to visualize light coming in through the top of my transcendental chakras and my crown chakra, which is up here into my third eye, but you can do it anyway, whatever feels good for you. Some people like to bring it in through their hands. Okay. But I just like to think about bringing this energy in and I'm, I'm bringing it into my body. 
and I'm cycling it through all my chakras and I'm sending out anything negative out through my toes. Okay, so this is how I get centered, grounded. You can ground yourself by doing other things. Um, standing out in grass with your bare feet. Uh, lots of ways, okay, to ground yourself. Some music is grounding for people. Meditation is grounding for people. Reading is actually grounding for me. Um, so I'm setting my attention. I'm setting my attention. Let's pretend I'm having an issue with a coworker, okay? So I'm setting my attention. I like to do this too. Like just wherever it feels good for you, okay? This is also engaging your vagus nerve if you put your fingers behind your ear right here in this little crevice. You can hum a little bit, whatever. People are like, well, I don't know what hum. What what tone am I humming in? Whatever comes out. Let, listen to yourself, okay? Mm, okay, I'm, I'm focusing. I'm grounding. I'm setting my intention around my situation. So I have this intention. Okay, I'm going to let myself feel it. What do I feel when I think about this situation at work? Ooh, I feel resentment. Okay, so don't push that off and be like, oh, guilt. I don't want to feel resentment. Ooh, resentment is yucky. No, feel it. Mm, I feel that resentment. Why do I feel that resentment? You're, And then I want you to justify it to yourself. I feel resentment because I have this valid reason. Okay, guys, when you don't feel it, you actually really feel it. You resist it and then it hangs out here because you're resisting it and you're like, ooh, I don't want to feel it. And then it just bubbles and boils and turns into this like little chemical energy that gets stuck. So I'm going to feel it. I feel that resentment. Mm, you're right. I feel justified in the resentment and immediately watch what happens. The resentment already feels less. It feels lighter because I acknowledged it. It's now lighter. So with intention, I'm going to release that resentment I'm going to visualize the resentment. It's going out through my toes. I'm sending it back with intention into universal energy where it gets dissolved back into positive energy. Okay. I'm sending it back to originating source. So you're going to do that and I'm not going to sit and do it for you with lots of other stuff, but just feel it, feel resentment. You feel the anger, you feel the frustration, you feel the whatever. Okay, so do do all that. Release it until you get to a point where you're like, it just feels light and nothing else is coming. Okay, then I want you to surround yourself. Once again, you got to get with your inner child. Okay, we're going to surround ourselves. So this is what I want to do now. Any negative energy that's coming to me from this specific person, I want it to be mirrored off. Because I don't want to get caught up in that. And I don't want to be in, in the middle of it. So I'm going to surround myself with what I call a mirror. And I am with intention allowing beautiful energy to come in. And any negative energy is being reflected off of me. And this works really well. Okay. I had a neighbor who also happened to be a family member who I had serious issues with. And I caught myself thinking negative thoughts. And you don't want to do that because anything negative comes back to you and I don't want to be attracting negative. So how do I do that while I'm having so much confrontation with my neighbor? I simply, with intention, I'm going to put this mirror up. Any negative things that I can see, like glaring that he's doing, whatever, it's bouncing off of me and I'm letting universal energy and karma take its course and I don't need to be involved in that. So I'm allowing beautiful in. Same with your situation. With intention, I'm thinking about the energy, if you visualize it, guys, visualizing is the key. But like I said, our inner child is so damaged that we're like, I don't know how to use my imagination. So I'm just visualizing the situation at work and I'm bringing in beautiful light. So I like to visualize things in a, in a round. It just makes sense for me. So I can see the situation is a round bubble, a round ball, and I'm bringing in beautiful energy to the situation with this person. And I'm attracting beautiful. And I am bringing in beautiful source energy to enhance the situation with full intention that I want positive things to happen between myself and this other person, okay? And that's how it works. And you will be amazed because you are aligning with it. So you will start to react different, but you will be amazed at how the person reacts different. And then at some point you'll be like, wow. And then you may even have people say, so-and-so is reacting different to you, but they're still being this way to me. This is so weird. And you'll be like, right, it totally is. So there you go. 
Okay, guys, you can follow me. Um, I have this beautiful group on Facebook where I do um, lots of free stuff like this for resources for how you can um, help have a more balance. So it's called Feeling Lost, Get Your Balance Back, Mind, Body, Soul. Um, but anyways, I hope you're having a beautiful day. And don't forget to love yourself. Love yourself just a little bit more every day. See you later.